Penile Implant Surgery. Your questions and answers. Brought to you by FixedED, www.fixedED.net.au. Now that we understand the causes uh, of uh, impotence, what do we have in this modern age, and we really are living in a wonderful time, when we understand what causes impotence, but now we have some excellent treatments for it. So life's pretty good. The first one is to exclude any correctable causes which we've touched on, such as medication, diabetes, trying to improve the physiology of patients, and also with the statins, perhaps cleaning out some of those arteries that are clogged. But moving on from that, the first line therapy, of course, is medication. And we've all heard about the love pills, the, uh, the Viagra, Cialis, Levitra. All of those work quite well if the arterial supply to the penis isn't completely blocked. But eventually, of course, the initial causes of impotence will progress in spite of what we do. And in many cases, even on presentation, the so-called love pills simply don't work. But all is not lost. The next line of therapy is to have self-injection therapy. And once again, uh, the press is loaded up with all these uh, advertisements for penile injection therapy. Not a pleasant thing to talk about. But the great advantage over the, the injectable therapies is that it's an extremely small needle. It's a small dose of treatment and it works instantly. And in many cases works far better than the medication. But of course, eventually, the injectable therapies won't work or some complications from the injectable therapies such as laying down of fibrous tissue in the penis then that uh, means that we have to move on to the next line of therapy so what we're really here to talk about today is uh, what is probably uh, one of the best forms of treatment and that is inserting a penile implant such that erections can be had spontaneously at any time and for any duration that, that the partners wish. Penile Implant Surgery. Your questions and answers. Brought to you by FixedED, www.fixedED.net.au.